All right, so are you ready to dive in? You want to look at teams in a new way, right? Well, get this. We're going to use, get ready for it, Team Fortress 2. I know, right? It sounds crazy, but stick with me. It's going to be good. It really is amazing how a game can be such a mirror, you know, for how teams work in the real world, dynamics and all that. Right. And Team Fortress 2, if you haven't played, it's all about, well, obviously, teamwork, right? Oh. came out way back in 96. And it's got all these characters. Each one's got their own thing. And apparently someone figured out these characters, they match up to like workplace personalities. It's wild, isn't it? You got these characters. Obviously, they're amped up for the game and all, but they really do, you know, embody those work styles, the personality types. We see them every day, just more extreme. So instead of like calling IT because the printer's jammed again, we should be thinking, hmm. This is a demorsome situation. Right. Okay. I'm in. Let's go. Hit me with your best shot. Who's first? All right. All right. Let's start with the soldier. Now, in the game, this guy, he's all about action, right? Rocket jumping into the thick of it. Not always the uh, most strategic, shall we say, but he's got guts. So at the office, who's our soldier? Like, what does that look like in the real world? Picture this. You got that coworker, right? They jump headfirst into every single task. Maybe they don't always plan it out perfectly, but man, are they full of energy and always, always up for a challenge. You need a volunteer to stay late. They're your soldier. All about action. Okay, who is next on our list of office, I don't know, comrades? Warriors. Next up, we've got the heavy. So in TF2, he's the muscle, yeah. Big old minigun, just laying down fire. Brute force is the name of the game. So in the office, that means the heavy is. Think about the person who just puts in the work, no complaining, reliable, dedicated, maybe a little stuck in their ways. Like they might not be the first person to jump on a new way of doing things, mm -hmm. but you can count on them. Picture the person who, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's your heavy. Might need a little nudge to try new things, but hey, they're solid. Makes sense. Yeah. I know a few of those. All right. Who else we got? This is great. Okay. Now we got to talk about the demo man. This guy, he's a wild card in the game, loves explosives, bit unpredictable. You never quite know what he's going to do, but when he hits, he hits hard. Okay, so how does that craziness translate to, like, an office setting? Imagine that coworker. Always got the big ideas, right? Maybe a little unorthodox in how they get there. Might ruffle some feathers even. But they often come up with the truly innovative solutions. Love to push the limits, challenge how things are always done. That's your demo one. They're the ones who bring the boom to the brainstorming meeting, huh? <laughs> okay, so far we got our soldier, our heavy, our demo man. Who else is on this team of ours? Now let's talk about the sniper. So in the game, it's all about precision, patience, picking off targets from a distance. They're the one shot, one kill type. Okay, so the workplace sniper is... That's your detail-oriented person. Right. They might be quiet, analytical, the kind of person who likes to look at all the angles, you know, mm -hmm. process everything before they make a move. They're going to shine at those tasks. Anything that takes focus, precision, data analysis, editing, programming, that's their jam. They're the ones who catch those tiny little details everyone else misses. Metaphorically hitting the bullseye red. Right? That's awesome. Okay, who's next on our Team Fortress 2 office roster? Let's move on to the medic. Yeah. I mean, you can probably guess, right? In the game, the medic. They're all about healing, keeping everyone else alive and in the fight. That's their whole thing. So the office medic is all about... Yeah. yeah, they're like the heart, right? The yeah. heart of the team, always there to lend a hand, offer a good word, keep everyone going. You know, like the one who brings in cookies for the Monday morning meeting. That's your medic. Yeah, they've got that knack, mm -hmm. you know, for building up that team spirit, making sure everyone feels good, holds the whole thing together. Can't have a team without a medic, that's for sure. But what about the engineer? So in TF2, they're all about building stuff, making it all run better. You know, the optimization type. Absolutely, they're yeah. the ones who figure it out, right? Always yeah. tinkering. How can we make this better? How can we make it more efficient? Mm. In the office, they might, you know, shake things up a little, but it's always because they see a better way. Mm -hmm. Streamlining processes, yeah. coming up with those outside the box solutions. Yeah, I love that. The efficiency gurus. Okay, now this next one, I'm curious, because in the game, the scout, they're all over the place, right? Gathering info and basically just being a pain. You know what I mean? Right. But that energy, that need for speed, it translates, believe it or not. In the workplace, that's your networker, the communicator, the one who knows what's up before anyone else. They can bridge the gaps between different teams, keep everyone on the same page, fast paced, gotta be moving, love those connections. Sounds like they'd be in charge of the office gossip mill too, huh? Always flitting around, knowing everyone's business. 
Okay, now this next one might seem a little weird to think about in an office. We got the spy, sneaking around, manipulative, works in the shadows. HR would have a field day with this one. True, true, but think about it this way. The spy, when you bring it to the office, they're the one who sees everything right. Noticing things other people miss, understanding what makes people tick, even predicting problems before they happen, might challenge how you think about something, offer up a fresh take, even if it's a little unorthodox. So less James Bond, more like, I don't know, Sherlock Holmes at the water cooler. Okay, I like it. Last but not least, the pyro. Now in the game, it's all about fire, mayhem, just generally blowing stuff up. This is your passionate one, right? <laughs> Driven, relentless. They're not afraid to roll up their sleeves, dive right in, and they commit 110%. So at work, the pyro is the one who just loves what they do. Like maybe a little too much sometimes. Got to watch out for those burnout pyros. Yeah, got it. They bring the energy, the dedication, and that rubs off on everyone. You know, sometimes they need to slow down, take a breath, but that passion, that's valuable. Okay, my mind is officially blown. So wait a minute, you're telling me this video game, Team Fortress 2, it's basically like a cheat sheet for figuring out like workplace dynamics. We've got like, I don't know, soldiers running around, maybe a spy or two lurking by the water cooler. Who knew, right? It's not about, you know, putting labels on everyone. That's not the point. It's more about understanding those different approaches, right? Kind of like those characters and how those different styles, they come together to make a team that actually works. Yeah. Like if you were building the best Team Fortress 2 team ever, you wouldn't want all soldiers. Right. Got to have that mix, different skills, to handle anything, strategic and all that. Exactly. When you get that, when you can see those different approaches, it helps us, you know, talk to each other better, appreciate what everyone brings to the table. And that just makes the whole team stronger. No more misunderstandings. Everyone's on the same page, or at least trying to be, right? <laughs> We've all worked with the demon, I'm telling you. <laughs> Ideas flying every which way, most of them kind of crazy, but then bam, that one good one changes the whole game. Right. And who's there to take that idea and make it real? Maybe an engineer building the system or the sniper looking at all the little details, making sure it's perfect. This is so cool. Honestly, I never thought I'd be thinking about my coworkers this way. It's like you said, a whole new perspective, right? So everybody listening, I got a challenge for you. Take a look around your own workplace, all right? Who's your team's heavy? Who's the scout? Always buzzing around with the latest news. And more importantly, how can you use that, you know, use that understanding to make your own team work better? to reach your goals. Exactly. Teamwork. That's the magic word, isn't it? Makes the dream work. And hey, maybe a little Team Fortress 2 wisdom can help us all get there a little faster. Until next time, everyone, keep learning, keep growing, and most importantly, host speaker and expert speaker, keep on diving.